Hey there, it's Mark at Ray Screws. I'm going to take a look at this Hot Wheels Custom Turn Kicker in just a few moments. It's an updated version of the Hot Wheels Turn Kicker. In order to activate it, you lock it into this position and the car drives through. It hits this trigger. You can see a rubber band right here. So the rubber band snaps this part when the car hits it, snaps it, and then you see this arm come out. Well, that arm comes out. That's why they call it a turn kicker. It kicks your car around the bend. Hot Wheels made a video where they connected two of these to where it would kick it once, kick it twice. It showed it in the video. So I did a video to test it out to see how it would work for me. And when I did that video, someone said, hey, why don't you connect four and do a quad kicker? Uh, let's go ahead and check that out because I had originally put it in the weekend show. It's another nice accessory that does not require batteries to help propel your car around the track. I like it. It works with some cars and some cars it doesn't. That's not every, not every car works with every booster. Here you have custom turn kicker and the main thing that is fixed quarter turn. That's the only way you can do it. But this one it says kick your cars around any angle. This part right here going around that part is adjustable. Right there, they show all the different angles that it can be adjusted to. Here's a look at the back of the box. Right here, they have it as a U-turn. Here's some of the other track builder accessories. And if you have a lot of stuff, you can make a setup like this. Let's go ahead and crack it open. It has a little spot to start it. There's our instructions, information. Custom turn kicker. This one sits. To, oh, one thing I know right away that I like better is this is higher. This has a higher sidewall. Check out this car. When we put in Torque Twister, look how Torque Twister is way shorter than the sidewall of that kicker. Look at this. Put this one here. They're practically the same size. As a matter of fact, Torque Twister is even taller. I like that. Higher sidewalls. I like that right away. Kicker system. Seems to be similar. Similar. Car's going to come by. I, I tried to move my <laughs> finger fast, and I did not get it out fast enough. Anyways, let's see. It says adjustable. Do we just adjust it? Oh, and look how this comes out. By the way, you seen on the you might have seen on the package, it says uh, warning long cord strangulation hazard. It, it's because of this part right here. You just got to be safe around younger kids. Oh, I like it. And then when you hook up your track, this will be on the side. Oh, I like this already. What else do we have in here? Shouldn't be anything. It's just a filler spot. Oh, we get track. Fantastic. A couple pieces of. Short wall, Hot Wheels, track builder, track. Any connectors? Two pieces of track. No connectors. Well, you don't need them for this because this already has the tabs. Let me show you something else that I like. Let's go ahead and activate these, put them in position. So this is the trigger. This is the trigger. And then the kicker pops out like that. Well, with this one, Here's the track that I got out of this set. Uh, I added a track builder connector because you need one here. You don't need one on this. You just slide it right on. It already has it. If you notice, this is far from this piece of track. When this swings out, look, it's not even... Let me test it in the other positions just to make sure. 
Yeah, see, look, it stays far away from this piece of track. This this one, though, I, it's okay, but look at this. When this comes around, it comes over this piece of track, right? So if you use short sidewall pieces of track, you're fine. But what if you have the taller sidewall pieces like this? Let's go ahead and take this off, put in a tall one. And why would you want to have a tall one? Well, sometimes... Sometimes when these get kicked through here, I want a high sidewall to keep the car in the track. But look at this. It hits. Sometimes when this comes around, it hits this piece of track. Look, it's sitting right on it. Like that. That's not good. It's okay with the short sidewall. But look, it's not even a problem with this one because it doesn't even come close. Let's do a side-by-side -side test. Here's the original one, of course. Let's start it up or engage. There we go. Both of them, as you can see, are quarter curves or 90 degree angles. D muscle came with the set. So let's go ahead and use D muscle first. And let's try it on the older cord corner kicker or custom turn, uh, turn kicker. Worked well. Now let's try it on the new custom turn kicker. Uh-oh, what happened? I reset the custom turn kicker. Let's try it again. That time it worked just fine. Successful. Now let's try fast master. Reset, reset, go. Oh, you gotta push it harder than that. Set, go. Hey look, he's drifting on the rail. Now time for the new kicker. Yeah, he popped out of the track on that one as well. Since Fastmaster did not stay in the track, we're going to say he was not successful. Sorry. Now let's try HW50 Concept. I already reset the kickers. Say go. Beautiful. Say go. Say go. Two successful cars. Now it's time for... Rise and climb. Has a couple of bicycles in the back. Inside lane again. Set, go! Outside, set, go! Beautiful. Did I put that down backwards? Silly goose. Oh yeah, I know you've seen it sitting there. The Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Say go. What happened? Uh, he face plowed right in. Hey! Say go. What happened? Uh, he face plowed right in. Hey! He was just teasing. Say go. <laughs> Twice! I didn't push him hard that second time, so we'll go on the outside lane again. Go. I pushed him too hard. Set, go. Oh, Bone Shaker came out the lane. Shh, don't tell anybody. We're giving him another try. Oh, yeah, that time it's perfect. Let's put him in the middle with the others. How about we give that car another chance? How about we give Fast Master another try? Inside lane on the old turn kicker. I gotta push them a little harder. Go! Da -da -da, da -da -da. Now let's go ahead and try different angles with the Hot Wheels Custom Turn Kicker. I did not measure. This is about a 45 degree angle. I don't think I have any track parts like that. If this works, this could be very handy. Let's go ahead and try Bone Shaker first. Wipe out! D muscle. It came with the box set. Uh oh. HW50 concept. By the way, if it crashes and you see these numbers on the bottom, that's because we did some downhill racing. And this one came in first place, third place, second place. That's the reason it has the numbers. We wrote them there. Set, go. This is not turning out to be a good angle. 
rise and climb. It had a little difficulty before. I think it's because it's kind of taller than the other cars. Let's see. Well, so far this angle is working perfectly. A uh, perfect fail, that is. Last but not least, Fast Master. Yes, somebody finally makes it. Let's try this one. It's a U-turn, or you can call it a hairpin turn. Here comes HW50 Concept. Bone Shaker. Rise and climb. What? What? Fast Master, two in a row. It's time for D Muscle. Go! Wah, wah, wah. I got one more to try. Let's make some room. Take off a couple pieces of the track right here. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Look at that. You can use it as a kicker, except it's going the wrong way. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Turn it around. I want to kick it uh, this way. Excuse me. Let's make this straight. Oh, look, it has a little clip. You can clip it on the track. Nice. I didn't notice that before. Maybe you should read the instructions, Ray Screws. Let's see if I can make this straighter. Oh, there you go. That should be it. Oh yeah, we gotta reset the kicker. Oh, it was, it was ready to go. D muscle. HW50 concept. Perfect. Oh wait, sorry about that. Come back, come back. Too far, too far, come back. Reset, go. Reset. Rise and climb. Boink. Reset. Fast master. Go. Bone shaker, help me. Hey, some help you are. Set. Go. Boink. Pew. Reset. Do you like Bone Shaker? I did a Jammers and Racing episode with a bunch of Bone Shakers. I think Custom Turn Kicker, it's good enough. I'll be using it for track time, just like I use the regular Turn Kicker. I did a two lane downhill race side by side. You can check that out on my Track Time channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Have fun with your toys. Bye bye.